So we're here at Balmain, Cuba. It's the finals. The Caribbean Stars under 15 community football tournament. North versus South. Community football tournament 2023. Seven minutes. Are still time? Go to straight kicks. A penalty shoot off. Yes, sir. Caribbean stars. Yeah. 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 I love, I love the back and forth between the fans and the support. Definitely had a, a blazing, exciting first half. 
Second half action is on in this finals on a blazing Sunday. Balmain Cooper comes alive. Yes, 
As community under 15 football league, they are the champions. Make some noise! Let's say congratulations as well to Port of Spain, Trent Setter Hawk. You fought a good fight, but top coaching school. Somebody was saying that. <laughs> Yes. Make some noise for the second place team, Port of Spain, Trinidad Hawks. And I must say, it's in the Yeah, man. It is well. Well done to Port of Spain, Trinidad Hawks. Not so champions, but however today we face the second in championship finals. Because the medals being given out by Mr. Lara. So one more time, hey. some noise for the stage and set the walks. Give me a nice picture now. Hey. Rhythm stars, the boys under 15. Community. Oh, look what they put on the front, in the front. Lara for the 2023 Caribbean Star of the Under 15 Community Football Tournament, the champions. Stop. No, they're going this way. The champions. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Receiving from the president, CEO, 
and the founder of Caribbean Stars, Mr. Orwin McGill. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Don't start the celebration yet. You are all in cameras. Are you ready for the celebration? Let me see the celebration. <laughs> to do the presentation of the MVP award again, Miss Lisha Lara, and that award goes to Mr. Akil Vespri. <laughs> Most valuable player in the entire tournament and in the southern region as well. Yeah. Mr. Akil Vespri. a very, very special presentation to Mr. Orwin, Orwin McGill. And of course, it's going to be presented by a gentleman who I met many, many years ago. Very experienced in our service in our community. On behalf of all, all the participants, all the spectators, supporters, co-workers, this has been a wonderful opportunity for the youths. We want to thank you, Mr. Mariel, for giving us the opportunity to celebrate with our fellow men. On behalf of all of us, we need to present you with this award. Thank you very much. Thanks for the gift, the appreciation. I'm not one for speeches. I like my work to go and talk to So I want to just thank you guys. The youth is always my vision and my objective. And I'm really grateful to see we reach the final. And hopefully, next week, we can go to the next level with your star game. So I want to thank everybody for coming out and supporting the event. It's not always easy, but I always have faith in the youth, and I will always try my best to give it back throughout the program. I've just turned out to the room, to make the I want to thank you guys for showing that appreciation and coming out today. So thanks again. Anthony Wickham, head coach of Trendsetter Sox Football Academy. Well, I think it's, it's, a, it's a pleasure that um, we can get um, people from on the outside of Trinidad. Of course, they are from here, but uh, showing the interest in the youth of uh, Trinidad and Tobago and making it their duty to try and give back something to communities in particular. Right? Because this competition, as you know, is a community-based competition and it's something that will help the youths and them to pursue some of their dreams. I've been in this about 40 years now. My question to you is, how long have you been? Uh, <laughs> well, well, I think that, that is going to be up to the, to the, to the father. You know, um, we, we end this thing not for ourselves. We, we are here trying to um, make sure that um, youths uh, move forward in their life and, and hopefully, hopefully, uh, I will give them as long as I, as long as I can go again. Who's next? Well. As you see, the, 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 the young man saving here today, he's only 13 years old, right? And you're playing against 15-year-old players. So 
AJ is one that you will have to look out for in the future. And of course, we have a lot of uh, players out there. Um, Jada Riley, you can look out for Jada Riley. And Jasim Pierre, just to name a few. Well, I think it's, 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 it's pretty all right, right? Um, again, you see, we come from an area where um, is, is, is known or is, is where they, they try and, and, and kind of give us a bad name in terms of what's going on in the community. But I think overall, overall, the support of the community, where Chancellor is concerned, we do get that, that, that kind of support from them whenever we have games or events. They come out and, and try and give us the support. Okay, welcome. Yeah. Yes, pleasant good evening. My name is Dennis Cox. I is the founder of the Cox Coaching School. The coaching school has been operating for the, for the past 40 years. The coaching school is based in Palosico, that's the deep south. Um, in terms of this competition, what does it mean for you as a Well, first of all, we wanted, I would like to give the organizers, organization, the organizers, uh, full praise for this tournament. You know, it was something special, North versus South, and not only North and South, but also bringing back the community together. And you know, North, North and South, all this is a pleasure playing with each other, and that is that go way back. So we want to really thank the um, organizers for introducing this tournament. <laughs> well, Cox Coach School, school, we do a lot of travel, so we put in things in place. We looking at Arizona and Mississippi in 2024, also Jamaica. Well, yes, basically we get a lot of support from the parents and the, the community. That is our main um, support. Thank you, sir. You hold it, right? Uh, you hold it now. Uh, yeah, my name is Alvin McGill. And um, the plans for the competition is that over the years in covering the FIFA World Cups and, you know, CONCACAF and in Trinidad and Tobago, the football has been dropping. In the Caribbean, there was a little void with Jamaica bringing it up. So I just thought, being somebody from Trinidad and Tobago, that we haven't seen the youth football, we haven't seen the talent. So I thought the North South was uh, emblematic of, you know, the whole island into the passion. So I just thought I'd start from the under. 15 boys and take it to the different levels as we go up and see how the passion, building back that passion in Trinidad and Tobago. Because to me it's lacking, the people coming out, you're not seeing the crowds, the crowds are not really an advantage, you're seeing it at the youth level. So maybe the youth level need to be exposed with the enthusiasm and then the country could realize, yeah, because everybody loves the youth and maybe the people, the welders will get back the passion for the game. So, so my vision is with the, just the youth. Well, this first staging of the event is, is a success because completion is success, right? So at the end now, we are at the end of the final where the two groups met in the final North-South, which the ring is North-South. That is really the vision to bring back North and South of the country. So that vision is completed. Now we want to see the talent. So next week we're going to be doing the all-star competition where we can showcase now the talent. And hopefully the, the powers there be who is in the national football will start taking a look at the talent. They might have some or they might not, but at least they will be able to see what we're displaying and stuff. So that's that's what this for. All right. All right.